So today in this session, we'll discuss about universal gates. Up to now, we have seen uh, all the basic gates like AND, OR, NOT, XOR, XNOR, NAND, and NOR. But out of these gates, two gates are said to be universal gates because with the help of those two gates, we can implement any kind of Boolean expression without the need of the other gate. So if any gate is used for implementing any kind of Boolean expression, without the use of the other logic gates, then that gate is called as a universal gate. Okay, and uh, NAND and NOR, these are called as universal gates. So, in this session, we will see how to realize any kind of Boolean expression with the help of this NAND and NOR gates. So, we will start our discussion with the universal gate that is NAND. And these are the things which we are going to cover uh, in regarding to this NAND gate, the basic function of the NAND gate, that is, what is the symbol used for NAND gate, how it works, okay, and what is the truth table for NAND gate, and uh, how a NAND gate can be used to replace an AND gate, an OR gate, or an inverter. So how we are, how we are going to replace this AND, OR, and then inverter with the help of this NAND gate, okay, and how a logic circuit implemented with AOI which is nothing but AND or inverter logic gates can be re-implemented using only NAND gates. So if we have a Boolean expression, we are going to implement that with the help of AND or and inverter. But now we are going to implement the same Boolean expression only with the help of the NAND gates. Using a single gate type, in this case NAND will reduce the number of ICs required to implement a logic circuit. So if you are using only uh, a NAND gate, then it will reduce the number of ICs. As you can see here, if you are going with AOI logic for implementing any circuit, then it requires more number of ICs. As the number of ICs are increases, therefore, the cost of the circuit gets increased. Okay, and if you are going with NAND logic, then the number of ICs uh, required will be less, therefore, the cost of the circuit gets decreased or reduced. Okay, so let us see how to do that. And uh, before that, we will see, uh, we will revise again the NAND gate. This is the symbol of the NAND gate, okay. And uh, this NAND gate is now receiving two inputs, X and Y. And the output of this particular NAND gate is Z equals X, Y, whole bar. And if you are, uh, if you are using or if you are uh, applying De Morgan's theorem on this output expression, then you will get X bar plus Y bar. And this is what the truth table of the NAND gate. NAND gate as an inverter gate. Now, let us see how to design an inverter with the help of a NAND gate. So, this is the NAND gate as we know and uh, the two inputs of this NAND gate are tied together and given as a one input that is X. Okay, and the output now becomes is Z equals X bar. Okay, now this is what the truth table of the NOT gate that is if X is 0 then the output is 1 and if x is 1 then the output is 0 okay now this particular truth table resembles uh, resembles the inverter gate truth table okay so this is what this uh, inverter gate uh, implemented by using the NAND gate now NAND gate as an AND gate now let us see how to design this AND gate with the help of a NAND gate so I have took one NAND gate which is receiving two inputs x and y now, the output of this particular NAND gate is x, y, whole power. Okay, and now I have took one more NAND gate, okay, whose inputs are tied together and given only one input that is x, y, whole bar. Therefore, the output expression now it becomes x, y, whole bar, whole bar, which is nothing but x, y. Okay, now this particular expression as well as this truth table uh, resembles the AND gate. Therefore, it is the symbol which is used for representing the AND gate by using a NAND gate. Now, let us implement an OR gate with the help of NAND gate. So, we know that the output of OR gate is X plus Y. So, initially what I am doing is, I have took two NAND gates, okay, and one of the NAND gate is receiving the input as X, and the other NAND gate is receiving the input as Y. Now, these two are the symbols for inverter. Therefore, the output of these two inverters would be x bar and y bar. Now, these outputs are connected as an input to one more NAND gate 
therefore the output becomes x bar y bar whole bar which is nothing but x bar whole bar plus y bar whole bar here you have to apply the de morgan's theorem therefore you will get x plus y now this expression as well as this truth table exactly resembles the or gate therefore this is the symbol which is used for which is used for representing the or gate with the help of nand gate <coughs> okay so nand gate equivalent to aoi gates so and gate is re uh, represented like this or gate is represented like this and inverter is represented like this and this is what the alternate symbol of the nand gate which we have already seen in the uh, previous sessions okay so or which is getting two inputs as uh, or two inverted inputs therefore you will get z equals x bar plus y bar okay now process for nand implementation how to implement any boolean expression only with the help of nand gates so in order to do that we have to follow all these steps okay if starting from a logic expression implement the design with aoi logic so initially implement the design or implement the expression only with the help of and or and inverter logic now in the aoi implementation identify and replace every and or and inverter gate with its nand equivalent just now we have seen the nand equivalence of and or and inverter so replace all the and or and inverter gates in the uh, in the circuit in the aoi circuit with the nand equivalent now redraw the circuit identify and eliminate any double inversions it means if you have two bubbles if you have two bubbles continuously then it is nothing but a straight line so just eliminate all the double inversions redraw the final circuit let us see this with an example so nand implementation design a nand logic circuit that is equivalent to the aoi circuit shown below so this is what the aoi circuit where we are using and gate or gate as well as the inverter okay and the expression of this circuit is z equals bc bar plus ac okay now if we realize the same circuit with the help of nand or uh, nand equivalence of the other gate then we have to get again the same expression so let us see what to do now identify and replace every and or and inverter gate with its nand equivalent so we have to replace the nand we have to replace the and or and inverter gates with its nand equivalent as just now we have seen so here this not gate is replaced with the with its uh, nand equivalent here these two and gates are replaced with the nand equivalent as well as this or gate is again replaced with the replaced with its nand equivalent okay so redraw the circuit so this is what the circuit now now looks like okay now the next step is we have to eliminate the double inverters or double double uh, bubbles okay let us see how to do that now here this is a not gate okay and whose output is given as an input to one more not gate therefore whatever the output that you get here okay that is same at here therefore instead of using these two not gates okay we have to eliminate it as we eliminate these two not uh, not gates what happens then the number of gates required in the circuit would be decreased okay in the same way these two again eliminated okay now again we'll redraw the circuit and this is what the circuit whose expression is again similar to the uh, expression that we have seen for aoi logic let us see so this not gate is receiving a there so receiving c therefore the output of this not gate is c bar and uh, uh, and this and gate is receiving two inputs one is c bar and b therefore it is bc bar whole bar and then this and gate is receiving two inputs c and a therefore it is ac whole bar now uh, these two outputs are given as an input to one more nand gate therefore the output is bc bar bc bar whole bar ac whole bar whole bar so apply de morgan's theorem then you can you will get this kind of expression which is similar to the expression which we have seen of for aoi logic okay so this is how we are going to implement any kind of boolean expression with the help of nand equivalent of the other logic gates see aoi versus nand gate so this is what aoi circuit and this is what the nand circuit okay now here we require 74 ls04 which is nothing but nand gates 
is 1. Okay. And gate, gate IC is 6. Okay. And uh, gate for IC would be 6. And uh, number of ICs would be 1. 74 LS08, which is nothing but AND gate. Okay. Here we require 2. And gate for number of ICs would be 4. Here we require only 1 IC. 74 LS32, which is nothing but OR gate. Again, here we require only 1. Okay. But the number of gates inside the IC would be 4. Here we require only 1 IC. Therefore, in order to implement this particular AOI circuit, we require a total of 3 ICs. But when it comes to uh, the NAND implementation, here we are using only 1 IC that is 74LS00. Okay. And uh, here 4 gates. There are totally 4 gates inside an IC and we are using the complete 4 gates. Therefore, we require only 1 IC for implementing this kind of circuit. Okay. As you can see, the number of ICs required for implementing any kind of expression with the help of NAND is very much less as compared to the AOI logic. Okay. In the next session, we'll discuss about the universal gate NOR as well as two-level implementation of NAND and NOR gates. Thank you.